Um, you can see the style that he was trying to manipulate into his videos, uh, and it's it was very different at the time that he was bringing it to the platform. Then he started doing that in the daily vlog, then his channel just exploded. It's 5 a.m., our flight's in three hours. Anybody in the hospital. In the last 18 months, my YouTube channel has grown by three and a half million subscribers, bringing me from 500,000 to four million. What's up you guys? My name is Henry Sierra and thank you for clicking on this video. On my channel you can find my journey through filmmaking as I'm pursuing my passion through these videos. I also talk about creative theory, things like the approach, the perspective, the mindset, and things that you could do to make yourself better on this platform. Now if you guys have if you guys do enjoy any of this video or if it helps you in any kind of way, please remember to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for future videos. So yeah, in my opinion, uh, Casey Neistat and Shane Dawson are the two most interesting YouTubers on the platform. And it is because I think that they are the two best storytellers on the platform. Storytelling is very, very important for anything that you're going to watch anytime. Uh, it is important because it connects to people because we live through stories every single day of our lives. We ourselves are stories as human beings and that happens every single day. So we can really connect to it and it feels more genuine. We, we get more attached as we watch. And one of the people that have conquered the storytelling-esque of YouTube or filmmaking in general that is produced through YouTube is Casey Neistat. He has a pretty big following, a lot of people know who Casey Neistat is, uh, but if you don't, he's based in New York. As he was pursuing his film career in New York, that is when YouTube came along. And the guy had already mastered his storytelling style. The way he tells the stories is very unique. Fitness update for day three. Three days, no candy. Still a little sore from the skateboard fall. But all in all, pretty good. Um, but the uniqueness that he brought to YouTube that's that's fundamentally changing the platform and that's what this video is about uh, these two storytellers are changing the platform in an amazing way because of the filmmaking that they have brought to this new platform that is going into a new era of filmmakers and creators that are coming out and saying hey i have something to say there's a lot more of that today Falling into you you spent the week Peeps, how's it going? Super stoked about today's episode because uh, it's all about those rifts and lightsabers, baby. After three more trains, we have made it back to Barcelona. We started our travel around 9.30 p.m. last night, and it's about 2.30 p.m. right now. So, it's been so the way Casey Neistat did it, he uh, made a couple of videos when, well, before he started his daily vlog, saying that he was announcing his daily vlog. I've had a lot of people ask me to do a daily vlog. I haven't done it yet because, well, it just seems daunting. Then making kind of a test run vlog, and that turned out just incredible. I, I watched that to this day as like a rerun of a TV show or something because his filmmaking is amazing. So my first night in Belgium, I'm in a town called Nem Nemur, 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 Nemur. Uh, but that first vlog, that test run, um, you can see the style that he was trying to manipulate into his videos, uh, and it's it was very different at the time that he was bringing it to the platform. Then he started doing that in the daily vlog, then his channel just exploded. It's 5 a.m., our flight's in three hours in the hospital. In the last 18 months, my YouTube channel has grown by three and a half million subscribers, bringing me from 500,000 to four million.
10 mil. Yes. Yes. Ugh. 10 million. God. You know, I, I, when I started on YouTube, the idea of 10 million seemed absolutely infathomable. I mean, 10 million subscribers. 10, 10 million. Thanks, guys. But the way that he did it, it was a daily vlog, and he made stories that were of filmmaking cinematic-esque. And that is how he built his channel. That is how he grew his certain fan base. These people tuned into the three-act narrative specifically that he brought to the platform. Uh, he even talks about this narrative in a couple of his videos, I think. I'll, I'll link one somewhere here. So I went to Belgium in 2015. This is a month before I started vlogging. And I wanted to test out one thing. What would happen if I sort of vlogged about my trip but instead of talking into a camera, I used really precise cinematography. What would happen? Movie-like cinematography, but it was just me going about my daily life, going into my hotel room, coming out of my hotel room. Bringing a three-act narrative to vlogging wasn't really something before Casey Neistat brought it to the platform. It was more of just holding it up to your face and going from there and just documenting your day. But Casey Neistat turned documentation into something a lot more. Shane Dawson has also changed YouTube in a great way. Not as frequent as Casey Neistat has, but Shane Dawson has changed YouTube in a way where he brought the actual documentation part of this. He brought a documenting film style to this platform, like something of you could just follow someone around for a couple of minutes for each shot, and it was like you were watching someone just walk around naturally in their real life. But he still had a three-act narrative arc with, his, with, with this documentation. He had mastered that with that style of documentation versus the straight-up three-act narrative that Casey has brought. And they are both very, very amazing filmmaking styles that we can all tune into and recognize as something that we can connect to. Think about Shane Dawson's filmmaking like this. VCR tapes. Imagine you find old VCR tapes and you put it in the VCR and then up comes a home video. You go with your family to the park and you are filming ducks at the park. Like I did in this one video that you can watch um, and that's the home video you you film for a duration of a few minutes or whatever long however long it is for you and then it's just like that that's each cut it's just a long duration shot I'm pretty sure that that feeling of watching those videos two years later or ten years later or whatever I, I think it'd feel very nostalgic to you I think you'd be able to position yourself in that time again just like you'd be able to say well wow I, I feel like I'm there with Shane as he's going through this process of trying to prove his conspiracy theory. Yeah, that is why I think that Casey Neistat and Shane Dawson are the two best storytelling filmmakers. The, because the styles that they have brought to this platform was, were never there before. It was always just the run and gun, kind of hold it up to your face and just record whatever you could. Alright you guys, so that is the end of this one. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, make sure to leave a comment. Let me know who is your favorite YouTuber. Who do you think is the best storytelling YouTuber? Maybe it's not one of these two people. That Maybe it's someone that I don't know of. I don't know. Leave a comment down below. With that being said, I post on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.